Hey guys, welcome to this edition of Big John Flyer 77. Hey, today I've got the X1 by Wingsland. Also comes with the R6 controller. Uh, there is something I wanted to go over with this with you guys because I was a little upset when I got this. Um, all these don't come with any kind of manuals uh, like when you just order the drone itself. But uh, you see the box came pretty damaged, but it didn't hurt anything inside here. This is all you get. You just get the drone and you get the controller and then you get just a charging USB charger for the drone because what it does is it charges through uh, the drone itself when the batteries are pushed when the batteries pushed in like it is now you just plug in the USB micro C charger in there and then just plug it into a wall adapter you guys so uh, the reason why I'm upset with this one let me unplug this guy here I'm gonna slide these out first. Let me show you that. Slide these prop guards out. They do come off, but you have to take the props off. So we slide those here. Okay. So you just want to get them as even as you can, where it's not gonna hit the propeller, you guys. So um, let me disconnect the battery here. All you gotta do is just push down on this little lip here. The easiest way to take this out is get your your finger and your thumb right here. Press on the side of the battery and then slide out. And then you can get the battery right out of there. All right, the battery here. Let's go over this first before I talk about the controller. The battery is uh, 3.7 volt, and this one's 600 milliamps, you guys. So uh, you're only going to get about a flight time, maybe uh, five minutes or so. But uh, there's that. The drone itself. You have to take off the props. Doesn't come with a prop tool like like it does when you order just the drone itself without this controller package. Uh, like the one Brian sent me from True Drone Reviews. I do thank you, Brian, so much for uh, sending that one out to me. I never did make a video on it, but um, I was recovering from ankle surgery, and Brian sent it out to me. It came in a nice box and had extra props and a prop tool, and uh, came in a pretty neat little uh, box. It has a big X on it and one. Uh, but he sent that to me when I was recovering so I could fly it from my phone indoors while I was down at that time last year, or beginning of this year that's almost ending here, uh, 2019. So, but anyways, uh, to get to this, um, nothing comes with this, but like I said, the USB charger. The thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is, I was upset with this because, yes, this looks like an R6 controller, you guys. Uh, looks identical to it. You got the Wi-Fi uh, light here. But I noticed right away when I got it and I opened up the antennas, I realized the antennas were fake. There's no wire going through these antennas. And this thing feels lighter. From what I've heard, the original one uh, looks um, and feels, it's got a lot of weight to it. So this one, it does not. Pretty light, cheap plastic. It does charge right here with the USB cord, which is nice, just like the original. But this thing is not putting out Wi-Fi you guys you can open it just like the original lights flash like that they light up but no Wi-Fi light comes on because there is no built-in Wi-Fi in this the original controller has Wi-Fi built in when you uh, turn it on like this you would get on the the X or you get on the the uh, your Wi-Fi and it would show the Wi-Fi showing up to the controller this does not the re bu reset button is fake. There's nothing in there. Uh, you can see the computer board right there. It's green. There is no button at all in there. So that is fake as well. So I think they just made this controller uh, just to bind with this X1. I don't have any of the other Wingsland products to, to see if it binds up to their brushless uh, selfie drone. Uh, so I wouldn't be able to know. But... Uh, I think they just made this to bind to this so you could just have a controller to fly with. Another bad thing is um, you cannot adjust the rates. Uh, you can't use these buttons are dead on here. You can't take a picture or hold it for video. It does not run. Uh, even when you got the app on, doesn't doesn't record or start a recording. Let's take a snapshot. The one key uh, land, one key uh, lift off does not work as well. Um, it does calibrate if you go down like this it will calibrate and you can start up the drone by uh, Just going out Like that and it'll start up the drone uh, But uh, that's it. 
Uh, so even when you go on the app, I know I'll get people tell me, well, it's on the app. You go and adjust the, the rates on the app. Well, you'll see in the video, um, I'll put in a little uh, screen recording of me pressing that function and it doesn't allow you. It says only for phone. So it has three rates of speed. So when you go in uh, the intermediate, you got like beginners, intermediate, and then advanced uh, speed. You can't press it while you're uh, using the controller. So you only get one low speed. So and it's very slow when it flies. So we'll go to a we'll go to a video uh, flight and then let you see what the camera looks like. But I'm just really upset that they you know pretty much sold you a fake controller because I. I figured for under $40, uh, the controller alone would have been well worth it because these sell for over $100 USD. Um, you know, and like I said, it's got built-in Wi-Fi. This does not. So this is just this is just to connect to this drone. And when you first get it, it will not connect because it hasn't been bound to this uh, uh, drone yet. So you want to put the battery in. I'll show you how to do that because uh, they don't have no instructions on how to do it. You don't get a manual. So uh, I just had to search online, finally find, uh, went to Wingsland and found, uh, there was a little article on this and uh, found that. But when you open it up, mine's gonna bind because I already did the uh, binding procedure. So now that turned blue. But when you first get it, this will not turn blue. It'll just keep flashing the green light under here. And it won't it won't bind together. So to do that, what you have to do is fire up the drone, wait until the green light starts flashing like that, and then um, after about five seconds to ten seconds, go ahead and open this up. Let all the lights turn green. Then you're going to hold these two buttons here. You know the automatic takeoff and the camera button. You hold these down, and what it'll do is it'll start it would start flashing like it's doing right here that Wi-Fi button there which is not a Wi-Fi anymore it'll flash and once it binds to the drone then um, it will it will stop flashing here and these will light up blue so right now I just it's searching right now because I'm trying to rebind it again but that's how you would rebind that so after you're done I usually just shut everything back off and then I go ahead and pull the battery back out all right, I just slide it back a little bit. Go ahead and plug it back in. Everything's flashing again. Should be able to turn it on. It should wind back up here. Okay, it bound. So that's what it'll do. So when it's flashing like that, shut everything back off. Close the close these down because that's what shuts off the controller. And then you'll plug everything back in, open the controller, and it should bind to it. But that's basically it, guys. I'm making this video. I know this has been out for, uh, I think, a year or two. Um, I mostly wanted to thank Brian for sending the original one that I have. It's boxed up right now uh, from when I moved, but um, I still have it, and it's a great drone, and it was pretty easy to fly with the phone, you know, not having a controller. But like I said, I bought this because I thought I was getting the real Wingsland R6 controller where it's got built-in Wi-Fi, and you would have to connect the Wi-Fi to... Uh, your uh, mobile device and this is not this has no Wi-Fi uh, it's to me it's just a fake controller so I don't know why Banggood is selling it as an R6 um, maybe it's a different style of an R6 I mean if anybody else has any other information about this definitely share it in the comments below but uh, anyways let's go ahead and go for a flight and we'll check it out and see how it does outside um, it just stopped raining for a minute so it's pretty wet out See if I can get a flight in real quick, so stay tuned for that. All right, guys, hey, I'm out here with the X1 Wingsland, and I have the R6 controller. Which, uh, in that unboxing, I explained this is definitely not the real X or I mean R6 controller. Uh, this is just some remake that they have just to run this X1, I believe, because this has no built in Wi Fi system, so that Wi Fi button is fake, so is the reset button. So uh, I showed you guys how to bind it when it, you get it in the box. So let's go ahead and push in the battery here. Okay, everything's flashing. I'm going to go ahead and let it bind. These are fake antennas since it ain't the real one. Okay, it's bound. 
I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start up the screen uh, recorder here. Now let's go ahead and uh, let me put my phone in here, in the holder here. All right, screen recorder is now going. Let me go to my Wi-Fi settings. Go to uh, Wi-Fi. It's already connected to Wingsland here. So let me get out of there. Find the app. Turn the app on. I'm gonna go to Go. Should uh, should connect here. At least it should. Let's see here. What's going on? There it goes. Okay, we're connected. All right, you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and press record here. Oh, that's picture. Let me press the record button. Press record. I'm gonna go ahead and take off by out. Should start up the motors. There we go. Actually, let me go ahead and calibrate it, you guys. Let me bring it back down. So we're gonna calibrate it by bottom left-hand corners here. There we go. I'm gonna do it one more time because the propellers are still spinning. Okay, I seen it flash down there. Now let's go ahead and take off. There, that's better. Altitude hold's working a lot better. Got a break in the rain for just a moment. It was sunny three days ago and now it has been pouring. But this thing ain't very fast, at least with the controller. I'll go and try to uh, see if I can go to advanced mode. Let me bring it back down. Let's go to the settings here. Yeah, it's on high speed mode. So let's go to low speed and see if that, uh... oh, okay. See, you can't even turn up the speeds from the, from the, for the controller. There's no way adjusting the, being able to do the speed. So you're only stuck on one speed unless you fly from the phone, which is kind of a bummer. The one key takeoff does not work. So none of the functions works, guys. All it is is just to do a, a simple fly in a low speed. So, you know, no wonder it was only 30 something dollars at Banggood, uh, cause you're getting a fake controller. It's not even the real controller. Let's come back over here. See if we can get myself on video. I'll stop the recording. Let's try taking a picture. Get a little closer here. Go up a bit here. Here we go. There we go. Let's do another one. All right. Okay. I'll start the recording again. Kind of fly around here. This thing is super slow with the controller. Look at that. That's full, full stick forward. Full stick and it's just very slow, you guys. It's like it's only stuck in rate one. But, uh, you know, you know, it's okay, you guys, I guess, you know, but uh, they should say in the link that it is a uh, not a Wi-Fi R6 controller because you can't do any functions at all. You can't even film or take pictures from the buttons on this controller as well. So uh, they just made a controller to link to it and that's it. Nothing else. So I guess if you're a beginner, this would be perfect for kids, you know, maybe, I don't know. Maybe for, uh, but I guess if you're a beginner, this would be fine, you know, get you flying. But if there's any wind, forget it, because it's not gonna hold it uh, unless you fly with the, the phone so you can put it in uh, advanced rate. So right now you're just stuck at a slow rate. But I bought this for the controller. I thought I was getting a real R6 controller, you know, because Brian from Chew Drone Reviews sent me the X1 that came in the box uh, with extra props and, you know, a prop tool and, you know, a bunch of other little goodies. And uh, when I flew it from my phone, when I had my surgery, I was stuck indoors. So it was fun, you know, it was a good little uh, drone. So I seen this at Banggood for under $40 and it comes with the controller and I thought this is awesome. You know, cause that controller sells for a hundred and something dollars, you guys, it's an expensive controller. I'm already losing battery. It's a short flyer. It only flies for maybe four or five minutes. But yeah, I, 
you know, I thought, great, man, just the controller alone, it's well worth buying this. And I'll just have one of these for a spare. But uh, oh, there goes the fire truck. Never seems to fail when you're recording a video. <laughs> Hopefully everybody's all right. Starting to do some misting right now. So people are probably driving too fast on the highway. But yeah, I thought this would be a great deal, man. You get the controller for under 40 bucks. That thing's a hundred something dollars. Nope, they sell you a fake controller. So hopefully I save you guys money. Uh, if you're still interested in buying it just for the drone, you know, it's still not bad. You get this controller and the drone for under $40. I think it was like $36.99. Uh, they might have went up to like $38. But yeah, it's not too bad, but it's, you can't do any of the functions. I can't flip it, nothing, unless I'm just running the phone. So, you know, but it is what it is. I'm stuck with it now. I just wanted to pass this on to you guys. So in case anyone was uh, to buy this, cause I posted this link, I thought it was a great deal. I didn't know until I got it uh, just a couple days ago uh, that the controller wasn't real. So, but it's okay, beginner, this will be fine. I probably wouldn't get this for kids just because uh, they'll probably lose it. You know, this is more for teenagers and adults. Kids will end up just taking it up too high and end up getting it to fly away. So see how slow it goes. I'm going, that's all the way right there. And it's super slow, you guys. Let's do a little pan around, kind of hesitated there. So it probably is not gonna have that much of uh, range. I'm not gonna test it though, because I'm not at a park. So in case it flies away, I don't want it to hit or get on any of these roofs, hit a car or something or get stuck in the tree. But that's basically it, you guys. I'll let this battery run out and uh, hopefully I saved you money. Or like I said, you know, still under 40 bucks, it's not a bad buy. It's a good drone when you fly it with the, you know, if you like flying from your phone or you just want to fly it slow with this controller, 40 bucks still ain't that bad or under. Just wanted to test it out and see how well this worked, but just gonna go in circles. Like I said, I can't do flips. I can't do anything else. That's only flying with your phone. So, kind of bummed out. Really thought I was getting the Wi-Fi controller. Just crazy how they, they mark that it's a R1, I mean, a R6 controller. Cause like I was mentioning, the R6 controller has a reset button on the back. It has a reset button on the back. This reset button, there is not one, it's fake. Uh, the Wi-Fi light don't come on because it does not have any Wi-Fi. So no blue light will come on. It doesn't connect to your, your phone. I just lost signal. There it goes. Yeah, see, I lost connection there for a second. But yeah, it's, uh, there's no Wi-Fi built into it. So you can't connect it to your Wi-Fi of your um, mobile device or tablet. So you can only connect uh, your phone to the drone and that's it. Battery's getting weak. I could tell it's definitely slowing down a lot more than it than it was. I'm gonna stop the video just in case. I see a red light flashing there. Yep. I'll stop the video and there it goes. Automatic landing. Okay, there it is, you guys. Quick test. I know this thing's been out for a year or two. I think a couple years now, but just wanted to warn you guys about the controller that was the whole main thing about doing this review so um, hopefully uh, that helps you guys out i wish i knew this uh, ahead of time but you know it's okay because you know i'll probably end up maybe giving this to somebody or, or something so let them have some fun with it to practice with so all right guys thanks for watching like always god bless cheers and happy flying